What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Izzy Vasanaru or Izzy and today I am taking a look at a fabulous singer Dimash Kudaiburian. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, before we head into the video just want to say that I am a vocal coach. I teach singing, I teach guitar, I teach piano, bass, ukulele, which I'm not sure you can see, but it's right there. Um, I've had this YouTube channel for uh, ever, and I used to do a lot of like uh, guitar covers and tutorials and whatnot, but I recently decided that I'm gonna start doing videos again. And uh, today we're embarking on a reaction journey. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, let's see what this guy has. Uh, by the way, um, just want to put it out there that I already know Dimash. It's not my initial reaction to him. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I listened to this particular performance, though. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. It's always a treat listening to Dimash, and I hope you will enjoy it. All right, let's go. And pressing record. Here we go. Oops. Oh, this is so tall. I'm so tall. I feel like Lin Zixuan. Oh, let me just go back. I just heard something the guy said. What did he say? <coughs> I think he said um, that Dimash, they think Dimash looks like the guy on the left. Well, I guess there's a resemblance, but I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> uh, by the way, I do understand Chinese. I'm half Taiwanese. So I actually know what they're saying. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go, Dimash. Get into mosh mode. I love this song. So soft. So delicate. I see the rest <coughs> of the world. Oh, because Let's take a break. Uh, um, FYI, I have a serious case of hay fever, so my nose is plucked, my throat sucks, and singing is going to be terrible. But we're going to do our best to do some analysis. Uh, he started off with a really light, um, a very light mix, I'd say, breathy mix. I would not say it's falsetto, I'd say he's. Uh, cheating falsetto which is actually harder than just doing falsetto but it gives you a nicer sound so it's a very light mix on a uh, with on a breathy coordination <clears throat> and uh, just uh, just on the on the uh, I don't know how long we've gone but like a few first seconds of the song he's <coughs> utilized <coughs> So like he's utilized like an uh one two two and a half octaves in like the first um, few seconds of the first verse, which is pretty unusual. Um, you rarely come across songs that have such a span right off the bat. The lowest note was a B two. That's pretty low for a counter tenor which I assume he is, since he can get up with such ease up there to uh, 
<coughs> to the uh, fifth octave. Um, yeah, let's go on. Wonderful sound, those staccato notes. sharp five on a very heady uh i i would call it a head voice like soprano soprano sound like a female soprano would make um <clears throat> yeah it's sort of like there's there's it's so it's not a mix it's not a like full chest or anything it's it's really just <clears throat> now I haven't warmed up today. I haven't even made much sound today because <coughs> I'm home alone. But um, <clears throat> so that sounded terrible. But that's what he does. It's just a very heady sound. The vibration is felt up here, right in the head, and you can imagine a laser beam just going woohoo straight up. <coughs> let's go. Let's move on. That's yeah. Look at those faces. That's, I think they're competing against him. Poor guys. <coughs> His vibration. <coughs> I mean, his uh, uh, vibrato is so good. <coughs> and then he adds the vibrato at the end. That's. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I remember to give you some background. I remember uh, I've been a musician for many, many years, and I've uh, performed with and co collaborated with a lot of different artists, great singers, and I've been singing for um, at least half of my life too. So like, terribly at at the first at first, but gradually getting better, thankfully. So to mix an F sharp five, um, there's not a lot of people in the world that can do that. Um, I remember when I uh, was, when I first actually heard the song with Dimash and I, and he did that and I was like, whoa, cause I had only heard ever like mixes up to like the E5 before that <clears throat> and even the E5 that was like ridiculously high for me back then so like I listen to all these rock singers and they go like like on a heavy mix on an E5 and I was like I wonder like what is that the highest like a male can go like what's what's after that like does it just you know what happens and then Dimash comes along and just <clears throat> just this F sharp 5 and I'm like, and that doesn't even sound high to him. What, what, like he, he, it's like the limit is so far beyond that, that it's crazy. So anyway, that's, that's an F sharp five in a pretty heavy mix. <coughs> So, just wanted to say that he has such a uh, stage presence. Like all the hand movements there, they seem perhaps random, but to me they appear to be very deliberate. And he appears to be really feeling what he's singing, like so in the moments, which is what we all 
like strive for as musicians or singers. <coughs> Right, so that's all the way up to E6. That's, uh, I can't play that on my guitar. Um, that's off any guitars I have. I can't, I, it's like off the fretboard. Um, <laughs> uh, I would argue that he's not, he's not using whistle. He's just sliding up in head voice um, because the whistle is produced in a different way so super super high like heady notes uh, there's not a whole lot to say about that it's just supremely freaking amazing mm, that echo that soft vibrato that is so hard to do like on that light configuration. <clears throat> is he engaged or is that the other hand? That's the heaviest we've heard him uh, in his chest voice so far. So uh, this is in a B minor, this this song, by the way, if you're wondering. So this is like in the mid third, <coughs> which is uh, sort of where most men speak. <coughs> so he's very comfortable in this. Okay, there's a lot to talk about here. Um, first off, like that, <clears throat> that operatic, uh, super heavy operatic, uh, I don't know if it's a mix or if it's, if it's like, it's very heavy, so it's like, it's a very heavy mix if he mixes much at all. Um, <clears throat> the one I'm talking about is this one here. That one, the B four. That's very high to take such a such a dark, heavy sound. Like <clears throat> it doesn't seem very high to him, of course, but it's it's that that's ridiculous. <laughs> That you see how he opens up when he goes na 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 opens up his chest to to like get the proper support that is a very high level technique like mostly like what what you see is people first learn to squeeze their abs in in any way right you'd either just lean forward and go like mm. but once once that squeeze is sort of uh like subconscious or just on automation then you start to open up the chest to free up even more space and get even more support which makes it that's why it looks so easy because he doesn't really use any of the uh, uh, extrinsic muscles around his larynx here you can see like Yeah, like look at that look how relaxed that looks like you cannot see any veins popping out you can't see like there's no mm, muscular he's not like he's not going like that right he's going he's like 
he's practically like as if he would be speaking up there. <clears throat> it's his speaking voice on a F sharp five. <laughs> Look at that, you see that guy who was like, what's happening? What am I, what am I supposed to do here? <coughs> and that rundown, or whatever he did, that's, that's agility, that's crazy agility in his head voice. He has such like flawless transitions, this guy. That smile. <coughs> That's a smirk of a champion for sure. He's like, I know I kill this. Nice breathy ending. And <coughs> and then there, at the end, he uh, he uh, uh, reconnects the chords <coughs> a little more, so he gets the. My, my voice is pretty damaged today, but that's a B4, so but that's basically what he's doing, but he's, he, he does it in a pretty uh, uh, pretty nice way. There you got it. It's, it's, it's not as um, obvious as the one I did. I sort of exaggerated a little bit to, sh to make, make the point. <laughs> so I don't know a lot about this show. <coughs> um, <coughs> I did sort of know it before I saw Dimash on it, but it's basically some Chinese uh, singing competition called "I Am Singer." Or here it says "Guso," which means which is just singer. It says singer, in fact. Um, I don't actually know if he won or if he came in second. I've, I think I've read like both versions. So if you know, please enlighten me on that. What a great performance. What like the, I, this for performance here, <coughs> I shit you not, it's gonna become legendary. There, this is like one of the most like vocally impressive and technically flawless performances that I that I've ever seen <coughs> so um, and, and as far as I understand this is this, this was his first performance on the show so like like yeah like what can you say except for like that every single note every single breath every single coloring was a hundred percent intentional there's there's no accident here there's no there's no uncertainty there's no let's see what happens there's no uh feeling of that he's not gonna just slide through this entire song in the way that he did um usually it's like even when you listen to like real professional uh, singers or musicians for that matter Sometimes you can get a feeling that okay, this is the uh, difficult part for him or her, or this section here is not as well uh, practiced or rehearsed as the other sections. Maybe because of a higher like uh, skill level required on that particular part, but here you really just feel that he has such control over the entire like the entire piece <clears throat> I don't <coughs> I haven't actually watched this far uh, I don't know what happens if there's any judging or if he's just gonna bow out <coughs> wow. Wow, yeah. <coughs> that was interesting did you hear that when he spoke? Thank, thank, thank you very much. That was like very low. That was very low. That was in the the higher second octave, which is lower than what I'm speaking right now. So 
I'm not sure because I know he's not uh, he's not I almost said American I know he's he doesn't speak English as his first language uh, he's from Kazakhstan I know that so not sure if that's because of his accent that it makes him speak that low but that was very a very low speaking voice that's that's like for sure a baritone if if not yeah okay obviously he's not a bass but <clears throat> that shisha shisha it's in the high thirds which is more like that's more like a controlled scream really you know like when you <clears throat> see your friend over there and that's basically how mixing goes like you see a friend over there and go like hey 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 you there hey come here you know that that control uh i call it controlled screaming uh it's really how the voice works as we move up higher in our range <coughs> thank you very much yes thank you very much yeah look at that ah I've never uh, re like I didn't realize that he spoke so low and and very uh, gracefully graceful of him to thank the band or the musicians behind him <laughs> obviously they all uh, worship him Adagio by Dimash Wow not a whole uh... right okay so <clears throat> I hope you like this uh, this reaction if you did please feel free to uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel because I'll be like I said this is just the beginning of our journey and we're gonna be reacting to a lot of Dimash for sure and a lot of other other artists that you guys or me will find here on YouTube so because I know there's a like a whole community of reactors and all the people that comment they will put on like whatever they want the uh, youtuber to react to next so feel free to like drop any suggestions in the comment section I am happily uh, checking out whatever you guys have and want me to check out um, and I'll try to put my as a professional opinion as I can on it. So yeah, <clears throat> until next time. Oh yeah, please check out in my descriptions below. There will be information about like if you want to take lessons from me on any instrument, singing, guitar, piano, bass, uh, songwriting, or just, you know. <clears throat> or if you want to just support me, there's my Patreon as well in the description box so I'll see you around take care